All right, so we're getting ready here to start up a next review. Uh, thank you for watching all of us uh, do the uh, robot reviews uh, for the rug community. Now, what we've got here is the uh, latest and greatest from DF Robot, which is their HCR mobile platform. Now, uh, it's designed for indoor use, and it comes in a bag just like so. Um, as you can see, we haven't even opened it, so let's just get started and see what we've got for the contents. Now we've worked with several products from DF Robot, and we've been, uh, you know, we honestly been very happy with all their products, um, from the Arduino boards to their actual robotic platforms. We recently reviewed one of their others, and uh, we found it a pleasure to work with, and really good construction. Um, we've needed little to no help from them when we're going to build this. Not with any of the, rest. let's see what we inside. So. Uh, Everything looks metal, or still kind of aluminum. Not sure what those are going to be used for. Just kind of taking it out and inspecting everything, and got a lot of components here. Uh, caster wheel, some sensors, some mounts. Ooh, nice. Actually, uh, the wiring's already pre-done for you on this. Looks like power and a remote. Let's see what else we have here. This looks like some kind of a, some kind of sensors. I actually haven't seen these before. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, wow, they even include a, uh, a kit, a hex uh, hex key set. That's the first time we've ever seen that. That's actually nice. Uh, something we can use later on. Wow, now these are actually bigger than what I expected. I thought these would be like standard rollerblade wheels. These are actually quite large, um, about four to five inches and uh, across here. Wow, that's impressive. Expecting something smaller. Uh, what do we got here? A bunch of, ooh, look at that. Complete uh, kit of, uh, it looks like we've got a bunch of uh, sensors and whatnot in there. More parts, more parts. Hardware, a slew of standoffs, more hardware. Uh, bearings, more hardware. Axles, additional. Let's see here. Got a lot of parts in here. A nice manual. Uh, okay. And a couple of uh, bases here. Now we had a missing washer. Just kind of loose wash inside the compartment, so we're going to keep that for later. There are four, sorry, three uh, bases here, so I'm assuming. One can serve as the primary base, which is this one here. And you'll have these round ones that stack upon each other. Wow, it's kind of big. And yet another tool, a wrench. That's great. First manufacturer I've seen that actually includes all these tools like that. That's really nice. Sometimes they include just a screwdriver or something like that. They actually include a little bit more for us. So that's about it. Um, our next video will actually show us building the unit. As you can see there's quite a bit of pieces here so we're going to have to kind of organize this and we're going to build out the unit and start working with it.